We've been very clear about our concerns over uh, China's um, advancements in, in certain capabilities, a wide range of capabilities, capabilities that the Secretary noted himself uh, 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 do very little to help uh, decrease tensions in the region and beyond. Um, and, uh, and they're paired with, these advanced military capabilities are, are paired with uh, a foreign and defense policy approach that uses intimidation and coercion of, of neighboring nations um, uh, to yield to uh, China's interests. Uh, and so uh, taken in sum, um, it reinforces for us uh, the need to continue to uh, treat the PRC as our number one pacing challenge, and the secretary is committed to doing that. They're informing the budget. They're informing the programs and the priorities of the department. Um, they're going to inform, uh, uh, in many ways, um, uh, our, our training and exercise regimen. Uh, so there, there, there's a lot here. Um, a free and Indo-Pacific remains a, a key national security goal of the United States, and we at the department have a significant role in helping making sure we can protect that, that interest. And so, it, look, it's going to get... Uh, China's activities are going to get factored into the global posture review as well and uh, the upcoming national defense strategy. There's a limit to how far we can go speaking publicly about uh, certain capabilities, but uh, it's, in, it's in the budget. Uh, you can read it for yourself. Uh, the, uh, our, our own pursuit of uh, hypersonic capabilities uh, is, is real. Um, it's tangible, and, and, and we are absolutely working uh, towards being able to develop that capability. So active duty personnel with at least one dose is 96.9, so 97 percent. Active duty personnel that are fully vaccinated as of today stands at 86.9 percent. Of the total force, 82 percent have at least one dose, um, and the fully vaccinated uh, uh, percentage of the total force is just over 68 percent. Leaders throughout the department are going to handle the mandatory vaccination program with compassion and with understanding um, and that uh, and w with a with a full suite of tools uh, available to them to try to get members who are resistant uh, to do the right thing. I think you can see from the numbers I just gave Megan, there's not a lot of resistance. People understand that this is an important program and they're participating in it. Um, Thank you.